Good evening, everyone. Thank you for being here in support of the Global Lyme Alliance. I want to start by thanking the board and the staff at GLA for this overwhelming and humbling recognition. Addie and I are so honored. Our daughter, uh, excuse me, we are just a couple of girls from the Pacific Northwest, <laughs> and here we are standing on this stage in one of our favorite cities sharing our stories with you. Lyme disease stripped me of my life, and I'm not the patient. I'm simply the caregiver of an amazing daughter who fought the hardest fight of her life at way too young an age. Lyme and other tick-borne illnesses are debilitating, isolating, and completely misunderstood. It took us 10 years, countless doctor's appointments, hundreds of tests, and a two-week visit to the Mayo Clinic before we found the right team to properly diagnose Addie. It was frustrating watching our child suffer and not getting the answers that we needed to help her, and even more, having doctors dismiss her and tell her she was depressed, she needed to exercise, she needed to take Prozac. We were seriously going out of our minds. When Addie became gravely ill in the spring of 2019, we had to start all over again. Find a new team and the right answers. I remembered a family whose high school or high achieving son had been mysteriously ill after taking a gap year between high school and college to travel. He returned after a year and he was never the same. He had attended the same prep school as our children, so I thought to call his mother. Thank God, they saved our lives. I met her for coffee, and she handed me the book Cure Unknown, and said, based on our journey, she believed that Addie had Lyme disease, and she referred us to Dr. Christine Schaffner. Dr. Schaffner got to a proper diagnosis. Addie had Lyme, Babesia, Bartonella, Rickettsia, Ehrlichia, as well as Rocky Mountain Spotted Fever. She was very ill. I remember I leaned across the desk to ask Dr. Schaffner, how long is it going to take to get her better? And she said, give me two years. I was shocked. Here we are now, three years later, and our baby girl is finally on the other side. <laughs> She is better, not cured, because unfortunately there is not a cure, and that's why we are here tonight to support the work of GLA. But she is finally ready to move out and live independently and is headed to Los Angeles at the end of this month to start her new life. It is, it is truly a miracle. There were days, weeks, and months I seriously doubted we would be where we are today. It has been the hardest three years of our family's life. Addie not only suffered physically, but she had terrible neurological Lyme that was completely debilitating. We are not strangers to disease. My father died of congestive heart disease, my mother of ovarian cancer, my father-in-law of pancreatic cancer. We unfortunately have spent a lot of time around doctors and ill loved ones, but this was not a battle I was prepared for. At the time that Addie was diagnosed, I had just finished up another film project that unfortunately had ended in litigation with a narcissistic director. Welcome to the film business. <laughs> After that project was all settled, I was on the phone with my incredible and compassionate entertainment attorney, Matthew Hooper, and he said, Kim, what do you want to do next? And I said, I want to produce a film on Lyme disease. Through our journey, we met so many patients whose stories mirrored ours. And I thought, this is insane, and it must change. We need to spread awareness. My attorney introduced me to Jens Jacob and Jason Pamer of Cypher Studios. They were all in. They hired our director, El Gintner, Gintner, excuse me, whose husband at the time of filming had Lyme disease and our Oscar-winning director of photography, Claire Popkin, who grew up with a mother who was ill throughout his childhood uh, with six kids in Maine. And we got to work. We did a national casting call. 
and found three other subjects besides our family, found the best experts in the field, and started filming the fall of 2019. Of course, then the pandemic hit, so we had to take a break as our world shut down. However, by the fall of 2020, the crew found a way to get back to work, and now our film, I'm Not Crazy, I'm Sick, whose title came from an interview with Addie, is done, and we're looking for distribution. <laughs> During this same time frame, I also executive produced an immersive virtual reality project with Nani de la Pena, entitled Please Believe Me. It tells the true story of Vicki Logan, a pediatric nurse and mother who died of Lyme disease in the early 1990s. The project premiered at the Tribeca Film Festival this past June, the and the Global Lyme Alliance partnered with us and sponsored the premiere of our project. Before I hand the microphone over to Addie, I want to thank a few people. Henry and Charlie, our boys, you have been incredible brothers and sons during this trying time, and we're so grateful for your love, support, and understanding over the past three years. Addie and I have seen the way it has changed you for the better. You two are compassionate human beings. You truly understand what is important in life. In our family, we call this entering the other side of the veil. Peter, my husband, thank you for allowing me to produce this project and for letting strangers into our home during a very vulnerable time in our lives. I love you. I know the past three years have been the most challenging in the 36 years we've known each other. You are my best friend, and I thank you for your patience when we were in fight or flight. I want to thank my producers, Jason Pamer and Jens Jacob, along with our director, Elle Ginter, and the whole I'm Not Crazy, I'm Sick crew. Thank you for believing in us and for your incredible commitment in producing what I think, and I know GLA thinks, is the best film yet on this subject. Thank you for being a part of our family when we were so alone. I also want to thank the other subjects in our film, Elena Deladon, Ashley Baker, and the incredible Mode family. You were truthful about your struggles and sadness, and it helped complete our project. I want to thank my mother-in-law, Sheila Cluworth, for calling to check in, who's here tonight? For calling to check in on us on Addie's hardest days, and for working hard to understand something that is so mysterious complex and difficult out of the love of your family. I also want to thank my sister Liz Daber, who is here tonight as well, for being there for us, for coming to visit, for always being a text away. And I want to thank the friends who showed up, because as we all know, there's some who aren't capable of it. And those who showed up, you know who you are. And I want to include those who are here tonight. Amanda, Tom, Flynn, who's unfortunately sick and couldn't be here tonight. Gigi, Lexi, and Marin. And a very special thank you to Michael and Maddie, who are two incredible Lyme warriors who have been a part of Addie's community through this whole journey. All of you believed in us. And you were always available whenever a family needed a shoulder to lean on or a laugh of distraction. Thank you for being here to celebrate with us. Being a content creator myself, I want to thank all the content creators, distributors, and streaming platforms out there. You were our lifeline and saved us on our darkest days. You provided comfort and escape from reality after long days of treatment and doctor's appointments. And I'd be remiss if I didn't thank our incredible medical team, Dr. Christine Schaffner, Dr. Summer Beatty, Addie's infusion doctor, who drove two hours each way every other week to do her IVIG infusions. I want to thank the whole team at Eminence Health in Seattle, as well as Dr. Jillian Ehrlich from the Center of Healing Neurology. Thank you for healing our baby. And 
for being so kind and committed every single day for the last past three years. I also want to thank the Global Lyme Alliance for assigning Peter and I mentors and for introducing our family to IVIG. IVIG, immunoglobulin plasma IVs, helped to rebuild Addie's broken immune system. IVIG was the game changer in Addie's healing and therefore made it possible for her to travel across the country to be here tonight. A year ago, that would not have been possible. Last, but certainly not least, I want to thank our daughter Addie for being so incredibly strong. and disciplined to get better. Thank you for allowing us to put cameras in your face during the worst of times. <laughs> you are now an angel on earth, and we can't wait to see the places you will go and the work you will do to continue to help others who have suffered like you. I love you from the bottom of my heart, and I am so blessed to be sharing this honor with you. <laughs>